No, Aquarius. Look at this. Magician. I accidentally left it up like that. Didn't even think about it. It's time for your Venus Retrograde reading for October to November 1st. This current year of doing something different. Since we got the Venus Retrograde going on right now. So I'm doing a little reading with my Aleister Crowley Toth deck for the occasion. Plus Halloween is my favorite holiday. So... Um, just so you guys know, I'm still doing personal readings. Ew. Ten of Swords. Burden going on? I didn't even know that was upside down. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm still doing personal readings. Just go into my description. And my email is in there. You can hit me up there and I'll talk with you there. Um, realizing like all of these emotions were not options because they were all poisonous, maybe. Weren't good ideas. They were all just leftover debauched ill, gross, icky stuff. Like, ew, emotions, get away from me. Kind of like that. Nothing satisfying. Hold on a second. Now I'm all, like, curious. Okay, Google. What does the botch mean? Here's the definition of botch. Informal. Carry out a task badly or carelessly. Now, what does the botch mean? Debauchery? Excessive indulgence and in sensual pleasure. So I guess they don't do as much as what you thought they were then. Oh. Or they aren't working out the way you thought they would. Right? Right. No whammies. All right, Aquarius, let's start with this. It's going to be a completely different reading, right? So we got, ah, went in looking for a fight maybe got defeated in it. Or you got someone to lay their swords down. Then we got someone really restraining themselves with all their indulgences, pleasures, lusts. And someone saying like a queen of wands, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Standing fair, they got the little kitty cat there holding back. Hold such regality in her presence. Over here, this could be a Leo, because this is strength, and there's a big-ass lion. On this side of the spread, we have someone putting in the fruits of their labors to see how their endeavors come out. And on this side, we got, like, a hopes for a connection of love. Maybe a romantic partnership. Maybe just coming together with somebody. This is the retrograde, so that is possible. Hell, maybe you're even developing feelings for somebody. Now on this side, we have Queen of Cups. Someone who's in tune with their emotions. See things for what they are. And on this side, we have, oh, interference. Someone's really stuck in their head about something. Feeling a little bit trapped. On this side, we have Mr. Matthew Kennedy. husband came home. Yay. <laughs> All the cats are excited now. So, yeah, so there's some... Oh, could you pause that? I didn't even realize I was on. Well, it's been on the whole time anyway. True. Thank you. I didn't say how long to keep it paused for. Aww. Okay, then I'll... Uh, 107. 107? Okay. Yeah, there's some um, interference right here. But there's also going to be like a new start or a new beginning as well. Ace of Wands. Hmm. What are you drinking on? Uh, I have that cup of water right there. Where? 
right there on the desk. The one that's, yes. I can't see that cup on the desk when there's five cups on the desk. I'm sorry, there's five cups on the desk. Let's see. Okay. So, with this Aid of Pentacles, where someone sewed some stuff and seeing if it's going to produce anything. The levers. Definitely a connection, because, like, you're definitely wanting to connect with somebody. But then there's that, like, Five of Swords here, which is, like, defeat, so. And on this side. With this actual love situation we got over here. No satisfaction with it. Ten of Cups reversed. So, like, you're still not satisfied even if you did get it, I think. Or if you are getting it, it's not what you're wanting. And on this side with the Queen of Cups, possibly a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. I don't know why I said Sagittarius. Um, someone in tune with their emotions. There might be success with them. Even though there's like this sorrow here that's still lingering. Then on this side with this interference where your mind's stuck somewhere, there is failure you're trying to get over. Or maybe something didn't go exactly as planned and you're still considering it one, like Like, it didn't fail because, like, it didn't fail because, like, it didn't work out. It failed because it didn't, like, it fizzled out or it just didn't, it wasn't effective. It wasn't super effective. It was just ineffective. Like, there was nothing that was produced from it. And then with this, like, lingering heartbreak situation... Ah, the devil, possibly a Capricorn. Um, keeping yourself in a bondage situation, even though, like, you can get yourself out of it at any time. And the other side of over here with this new beginning is because people are kind of against you. They don't see you as a victor or anything to celebrate. Like, they came in your house with sticks and started whacking you with them. Because they were jealous of the one stick you had, you know? Or maybe it was just some victory that you were like because this one kind of fizzled out and didn't work the way you wanted it to, or it, maybe even backfired. <laughs> you know, maybe that's the problem. Like it fizzled out, and because of that, you weren't victorious. So now you're gonna like try something new. Could be possible. We'll pick P three and three, and then three advice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. I think getting to the point where, like, you're not as, like, jumpy out now. So that's good. Kind of, because now nothing's coming out. Huh. Really, I don't want to say much. Oh, there's some. We got... Someone's not coming to a decision in some poisoning of debauchery. Like, someone, like, overplayed their indulgences to pleasure themselves sensually. Like, someone engaged in a bunch of, um... Yeah, because I think I just looked it up with you guys, too. Like, maybe too much of it, and now you're kind of sick of it, and that's why it's a little bit poisonous. The sip out of. I 
Then we got someone trying to keep control and adapt and manipulate with the Emperor on this side. This goes a little further over here. There you go. This one is someone's trying to manipulate and adapt and create their experiments to work with the magician. But they're not really trying to think things over or come to some sort of truth with the Four of Swords reversed. Or maybe they just don't want to express that they don't want to cooperate? I don't know. I always read these cards different than the other ones. bunches and um, someone really not coming to a decision to dominate or not with the two of wands reversed and, ooh we got five cards we got in the center there needs to be a completion somewhere possibly within the home um someone should be traveling or just delivering some news but they're kind of like the sleeping kitty over here with the page of wands reversed and here is the universe right here, meaning the cycle isn't complete. And with these two cards, we have Judgment with the Aeon and Celebrations on this side with the Three of Cups. So that's your reading, Aquarius, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.